So all I wanted to do was just take a little bit off of this diameter here before I stopped for lunch. And then this happened. The set screws that hold this flat belt step pulley onto this shaft had backed off just enough that it had slipped over. Chewed up the shaft in the process. Tried to slide it back over, but I couldn't get it. It kind of got stuck. So I decided to take this out. And in the process of getting this loose, I broke that too. I'd like to blame this on being previously broken and just waiting to fail, but that's a nice, fresh, clean break. That's all my fault. It's one of those situations where there's not a whole lot left to do now, but fix it. I'm gonna braise this thing. First step is to give the whole thing a good preheat. I really underestimated the amount of preheating this required, and I also had a dirty torch tip. Well, that went poorly, but I did eventually get something that looks like a braise job on it. I'm gonna let that cool down and go eat lunch. And we're back. That's still pretty warm, but we can start cleaning it up a little bit. That's a reasonable amount of initial cleanup. Not totally convinced on that braze job, but we'll clean it up a little more and see how it goes. I've got this mandrel that I can put it on. Of course, the problem with this is I can't use the lathe without this, so I'm going to have to use my other lathe. I mean, you guys have seen my other lathe, right? Got some pretty big globs of flux in there. I'm gonna try to rebraze that better before I keep going.
I'd say that came out pretty all right. I want to pull these screws out, chase the threads on them, just so I make sure that these set screws are seating right. Especially after being heated, they're really tight. And so hopefully I don't have to deal with this again. Well, there we go, back in action. That wasn't a particularly fun one, but that's kind of part of life with these old machines. Thanks for watching.